Cannabis supporters are accusing Australian governments of focusing their medical marijuana efforts in the wrong area. While government labs are focusing on the production of pharmaceutical, critics say patients who just want to smoke the drug or use cannabis oil are still being focused on the black market. Daniel Sutton has more. From promo girls spruiking criminal lawyers to so-called unbreakable bongs, insulated bags to hide illicit odours and gunja fairies... Breathe the weed! This convention has something for almost everyone. Yeah, yeah, these are pretty cool, man. I was thinking of buying one myself. But there is a serious sign. I had a tumour the size of my thumb in my throat. If I didn't take cannabis oil, I wouldn't be talking to you now. Despite progress in medical cannabis laws, a doctor here tells us for most patients, actually obtaining the drug is impractical. At the moment, it's very complicated. You can't just turn up to your local GP and ask for a prescription. And even if you get this prescription, where do you go? Where is the pharmacy supplying? This taxpayer-funded lab in Victoria focuses on pharmaceuticals, which means with a few exceptions for very sick children, patients wanting oil or cannabis to smoke look elsewhere. They're buying it from the back black market. Andrew Cavasillis grows hemp legally. He'd like to do the same with cannabis and says keeping production underground creates problems. On safety, cleanliness, hygiene, consistency, all of that that we're worried about. Although minutes later, government inspectors were there checking his crop to confirm it doesn't break the rules. Daniel Sutton, 10 Eyewitness News.